Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day. There we go. All right. Let's spend the first couple minutes here. Um, why are we on the giveaways today? All right, thank you. Exactly what I was looking for. The mods can anticipate my every thought. Uh, I was looking for uh, what level giveaway <coughs> we are today, and it's everybody. So thank you, Kira, for the note in um, the channel and Discord. So th <coughs> for those of you who are new <coughs> to the stream, maybe you guys found out about it at my panel at Boston. Um, there is a platform called Discord, D-I-S-C-O-R-D, and the Nightbot has the info to that. And if you go there, it's a fairly robust uh, message board where people kind of chat about comics, art, uh, art collections, um, anything and everything, but mostly art-related, mostly comic book <coughs> art-related. Sorry. I still have a little bit of cold. Not a cold. Remnants of a cough. Sorry. Anyway. And that's where um, the mods can leave me notes, messages. We also track what level giveaway. So normally on this Sunday, I do a drawing. And then it's given away to a different tier of uh, supporter. Uh, one, one session, it's for $25 subs, the ballers. And then there's that. And the next session will be $10. That's not a lot taller tier the next session would be five i'm actually going in reverse order the reason why i'm going in reverse order is that the fourth session or every fourth session is open to anyone in chat which is today so um so normally it goes everyone in chat then five ten twenty five then back to everyone <clears throat> and normally i drew the drawings and they're given away at the very end of the stream and i've noticed there's stream snipers i don't know what they're called in, in the gaming space, there are people that kind of time their entry into the game to try to uh, play with certain streamers on Twitch. Um, but if you're smart and if you've been following this channel for a while, you come in at the end, because that's usually when the giveaways are. So you can kind of turn it on and do your thing, clean your room, go to church, um, cook your, your kids a meal, change their diapers. <clears throat> and... Um, and then really pay attention to the end, because that's when you need to participate. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up today. Because we're going to celebrate this stream's one-year anniversary. So I start at the end of August. Today is the... Uh, what day is today? I think it's the 19th here in America. <clears throat> um... So the next week will be 26, which is technically uh, the anniversary. But I don't know if I'm going to stream next week because I'm going to be in uh, Palm Springs. So I'm going to celebrate the, a little early. <clears throat> if you think about it, it's the end of the first year. 26 would be kind of the beginning of the next. And uh, I notice I have a Batman icon next to my name. So that signifies uh, that Batman avatar. Yep, Beliasa has one as well. So uh, since it's everyone, normally I do one really nice sketch. It takes like an hour. I'm just going to pump out a bunch of sketches right now. And uh, what's fun about this is that... Um, what's fun about this is that uh, it's open to everyone, so Nightbot will, will not let us down in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> so let's... let's uh, Let's get a fix in here. I'm just going to warm up. I haven't drawn in a week or so. That's ex exactly a week. I was in uh, Why is it so dark? There we go. There we go. 
Oh, thank you very much for the very generous bits, uh, Giovanni. Much appreciated. Sorry you've been MIA for a bit. Uh, it's okay, man. You guys all have lives. We all have lives. All right, convention appearances and, and whatnot. Um, this year has definitely been the most challenging in terms of the number of shows I've been going to. And uh, <clears throat> so I think I just recently announced I'll be going to Alamo Comic Con, which is in San Antonio, end of October. So if you Google Alamo, A-L-A-M-O, those of you that would be going would know the Alamo. You have to remember it, right? You guys. Anyway, so uh, it's in San Antonio, Texas. And that's, I think, uh, the weekend right before Halloween. So I have Palm Springs this upcoming weekend. Um, and then Prague Comic Con, for those of you in the, the Prague area <laughs> uh, over in Europe. New York Comic Con, like I, I think I get home like on a Monday and I leave for New York Comic Con on a Wednesday. So those are a little back to back. And uh, <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to do these to do them fast. I'm going to do them in Sharpie. Um, if you guys win the Sharpie ones, just keep them out of direct sunlight because the Sharpie will kind of yellow and uh, fade because the ultraviolet radiation. I'm just kind of getting warmed up here. So it's going to be a little rusty. Uh, so yeah, so New York Comic Con, that's in early October. Late October will be um, Alamo Comic, <coughs> Alamo City or Alamo Comic Con? Alamo Comic Con, sorry. I keep uh, saying that a million times. I don't really know how to process thoughts here. Um, and then... in here. And then that takes me to November. I think November I have free. And um, then I think the last Comic Con of the year for me is uh, the Mexico City Toluca. Comic Con. First week of first week of December, I believe. And I'll be going to a store signing in early December at uh, Torpedo Comics in Vegas. I think that's the week and after Toluca. Yeah, it is. So technically, that's the last appearance. And then the next year, really, uh, it's the th the three standbys: WonderCon, uh, San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con, and then uh, two other shows. And that's it. Uh, although there's a chance of one international show, um, and normally I would announce it now, but then I realize, oh, they haven't officially announced it. So, so I'm going from. A gazillion Comic Cons this year to probably six next year, which still sounds like a lot. But, uh, you know, given that there's a base of three that I, I go to formally, for, for, uh, formally, officially in a work capacity, the elective shows are going to be uh, brought down to, uh, I believe, three shows. Um,. And that's just because I have a lot of other uh, responsibilities that have sort of come up to my plate as of recent. And that's just, so this is like a very quick sketch that um, I might do if uh, you were related to me. If um, we were at a panel and I had to knock out a sketch real quick. And, or if I was being 
interviewed and they say, hey, you've got five minutes to, to sketch something and we'll, we'll tape it. So this is sort of a five minute sketch. <clears throat> and actually I might do that one stream. Start with a 30 second sketch and then um, <laughs> the same character, right? So you do a 30 second version of that character and then a minute, then, a, then two minutes, five, 10, 30, an hour. That's a lot of sketches. Um, and you'll see the most difference probably between the one minute and five minute one. And then after like 20 minutes or after an hour, hour to three hours, you're not going to see that much difference, I don't think. It's just the, about the details. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see. Let's just punch this one up here. Let me just post it right here real quick. It's just a quick, it's just a quick, quick headshot. Actually, that'd be good too. I don't know why I put the dashes here at the bottom. So I'm going to label all these a certain way so we all know what they are. Next weekend, I might just do a stream where, uh, if I could figure it out, that Streamlabs, i got to figure out the password. Uh, where am I streaming the car? Or from um, Palm Springs, where I'll be at Comic-Con here. So boom, we're going to give this one away right now all you people that are on time and then we'll uh so here we go right now the thing is uh to be eligible <clears throat> you have to have uh says here active users within the past five minutes are eligible to win so that means you have to have typed something into chat in the last five minutes Okay, there'll be more, so here we go. Let's not waste any time. <coughs> cool Ranch Senpai, Senpai, Senpai? Following since November 6th of last year. Congrats. Oh, there's even a Batman head on the back. I don't know. I think this is the attempted Batman I was trying to do uh, on the road <laughs> in the car when I was, uh, we were driving to Arizona. Cool Ranch Senpai, 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 senpai. <clears throat> I should know these things. Uh, cool Ranch, please join Discord. I think that's the easiest way. And send me a message or I'll send you a message. Or you can drop me a Twitch uh, sort of DM. Either way. So that's one. All right. In the meantime, what do we have going on? We have a bunch of people that are supporting the channel, as usual. Uh, Janella, Charlie Parks. Um, Charlie Parks says we're third cousins. It's, that sounds good. Um, congrats. <laughs> to me, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Poet Peacock. All you guys have cheered generously. Uh, Charlie Parks again. I shall see you at New York Comic Con. I'll see you there. Third cuz. Um... And Janella, of course, from the Philippines. Janella, I have not sent... I don't think I've sent out some sketches from the last session. I've been kind of on the road. Uh, so if you haven't gotten something from me and you're expecting something, it's because it hasn't gone out yet. When it rains, uh, thank you for the cheer as well. So, um, yeah. some. Thank you also, Bat7. In the meantime, let's... Uh, let us note some people that have... Um, yeah, Janella, the one in Punch Man, I actually uh, haven't even posted online yet. There's some little details I want to still add to that piece and then, um, put it out there. All right, let's see. What do we got? Who do we have in the house as far as, uh, moderators go? We got Kirahiko, Kirahiko in the house, Kirahiko, our very first mod. We call her Mod Prime. Or Mod Primo. 
And uh, I see that, I thought I saw Crispy. There's Crispy. Crispy warning people about all caps. Crispy is very... Uh, yeah. On the ball. So welcome, Crispy the Bastard. Oh, I meant just Crispy, sorry. That other part always just naturally kind of falls in my head. Um, <laughs> what else do we have? Do we, ha do we have uh, a Ren Elephant? Or is Ren working? <clears throat> We're very proud of Ren. He's our, our mod. Uh, adult in training. Um. <laughs> I live for that. When Crispy says, I hate you, like it makes my heart swell with pride. I feel like I've accomplished something. He's, he's either working or in the shower, says D. Calvin. That, that is probably near 90% uh, correct. Geriatric lives. Someday, someday you guys will all be as old. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so Bedlam Knack, Bedlam Knack has resubscribed for 11 months. Illustrator has... has subscribe as well using Prime. So if you are a Prime member, you can actually get a complimentary Twitch membership, which is kind of cool. And Stone Cold Snake has cheered as well. Uh, <coughs> Super Saiga, Cyan, Cyan Jelly Jiggler has subscribed. Uh, Ignite Comics has cheered. Thank you very much, Ignite. Uh, Kuyamu has resubbed for 12 months. 12 months. Thanks for everything, uh, Kuyamu. Panz Panzerian has reset for four months. Um, BFA has dropped. How about some more craft art coming up? Great streams. Janella. Again, the, with the cheer. Fifth Hin has subbed using Prime. Lorenzo Arts has reset for three months. Thanks for the awesome streams. Um, Garnetan has resubbed. Hobby Samurai has subscribed using Prime. Uh, Quantum Priest has resubbed and saying, Jim Lee, Artist Supreme, my book. Thank you so much for your time and love in these streams. Huge fan. Thank you very much. Oh, what happened? <coughs> um, what else do we have going on? Uh, Pius Hadius. <laughs> Pius Hadius has subscribed. Uh, Wildstorm CCG, <coughs> Unser Freund aus auf Deutschland has resubbed. Schmutzli, Unser Freund aus die der Schweiz has subbed. Uh, Grams Jr. has subbed for twelve months. Thank you, Grams Jr. Beliasa for twelve months as well. <coughs> um, does that catch me up? Ignite Comics has resubbed for ten months. Giovanni has resubbed for three months. I'm here forever, he says. Uh, I don't know if that's an oath of loyalty or a threat. Uh, T <laughs> Trevor uh, Kai has resubbed for 11 months. Excited for the stream today. Pandemus for nine months. The ever-lucky Pandemus coming to flaunt his his good fortune. Queen City Amusement says cheer. Thank you very much. And, uh, well, Bruce Hart, thank you very much for the generous cheers. Um well, Bruce Hart, long time, big time supporter of the stream. O Okiani has resubbed for nine months. Keep it up, Jim. I am trying. And Well, Bruce Hart has resubbed for 11 months, uh, almost a full year. Happy one year anniversary. Cryptic Games has also resubbed for 11 months. Mora, 1618 from Mexico, has subbed for 10 months. See, I'm actually kind of learning who you all are over a period of time here. D. Calvin has resubbed for 12 months, one year of being a member of this awesome community. And I will say, uh, aside from this stream and what happens here, if you go to Discord, um, the reason why I know a lot of these people, um, not only through what they say and do here in the stream, but also through the Discord channel, people are pretty active there. So it's a great way of meeting fans really from all around the world. So I really, really recommend it. I'm looking, it's, it's, uh, it can be random at times, but, uh, you know, if you find yourself kind of bored, there's always something interesting happening on the Discord channel. Mike Jones Scribbles has uh, subscribed using Prime. Jay Roscoe, uh, Vieta23, Blood, 
Blue Haven Knight Kirihiko. Congrats. Um, Winston, 1982. Have all subbed to this channel. I am happy to report. Happy, uh, thankful for their their um, engagement and support of everything we do here. And in that meantime, while I was reading all this off, we've had Poofan12, Zengrix, Maverick713, uh, Holy Arts and Crafts Batman, and uh, who's asking me about my shoulder? I'll get to that in a second. Drone, drone, drone J3000, Kanger Banger, and the answer 3x3x Bedlam Knock. I already said that. Okay. And Nathan McNeil. Thank you guys for your support. And Rad Vengeance has cheered. Your stream's got me back into doing traditional stuff. Great. Good to know. My shoulder is doing a lot better. I think it was because of the Corazon shot. It allowed me to kind of reuse it, move it. And uh, things are good on that front. I still have twinges of pain if I kind of go this direction or overextend kind of the reach of it, but, uh, you know, if it was 90% before, I'd say it's at uh, um, 97. I mean, I, I, you know, I still kind of baby it or favor it when, like, when I'm traveling and, and stuff, but uh, there's a lot that... Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot that um, <clears throat> I could do that I couldn't do before. So I'm very thankful that it's not something that, you know, when, when it's a constant uh, ache, um, it is annoying to deal with. It's not so much pain, it's the, the chronicness of it, the fact that you're always feeling it, that it's always kind of reminding you that something's not right. Because like in your normal state, and, um, you know, you're all up here. You're not thinking about the feedback you're getting from your body per se, especially when it comes to pain. But to have something that's constantly aching and throbbing... <sighs> feeling uncomfortable is is uh it's uh it's horrible so i don't have that aspect of it anymore which is really nice all right so um so thank you for asking, but the shoulder is doing much, much better. And then I actually go in for physical therapy tomorrow, my first session. So I'm excited to see what that yields. Um, <clears throat> is this 11 by 17 paper? No, this is 9 by 12. Okay, let me... Uh... So this is 11 by 17 photocopy. This is a page from Hush. It's just a photocopy. It's not the original. Although I should have started drawing on it. <laughs> and people would be like, oh, there's a mistake here. I, I don't like, you know, like... Uh... Yeah, this is just a photocopy. It's, it's very thin, but that's 11 by 17. 9 by 12. And now, to give you a sense of scale, this is the black label paper. And this is what I did that black label Batman piece on. A variant cover for the Libra May one. It's like it's literally like the Death or not the Death Star, it's the Star Destroyer from Star Wars, right? It's a, just kind of comes into frame and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like... <laughs> It's a drunk Star Destroyer pilot. Doesn't know quite where he's going. Anyway. So give to give you a sense of scale, uh, it's almost, I think it's twice up. It's wider than, than the paper itself, but you can sort of see, all right, how much wider it is than 11 by 17. And if I put 11 by 17 on the bottom of the page like that, make it lined up here, you can see how much more room there is on the top. So it's huge, huge. I can hold it up. Let's see if you get a sense of scale here. Went for the delay. All right. That's literally like a blanket, a blanket of art. <clears throat> so, makes it, I 
couldn't even transport it in a portfolio. I had to buy a plastic tube. <coughs> Excuse me. So when I did that um, variant cover that I just posted recently, it's the most recent art that I posted up, uh, I actually did the pencils here. No, I did it in. I did the pencils and the initial inks in the hotel room in Boston. I think. Um, yeah, I think Thursday or Friday, and I did the show Saturday. Saturday. And I couldn't transport it back, so I just. Um, so I, uh, <coughs> I uh, bought that plastic tube to bring it back, and then I finished it up. Saturday night after I flew back into Burbank and I scanned it in and then sent it off to people and it's still in the scanner I believe I haven't even taken it out of the scanner because we left early Sunday morning on our road trip so that piece was kind of done under duress in that I did it in a hotel room and then uh, very late at night um, Saturday night I think I started um, I know I finished at four o'clock so I think I started around like 11 so that was probably about eight hours total that I spent on that piece and I have uh, preliminary stages I have like the pencils I the final pencils and then um, the final pencils the initial inks, and then I did a cut like an ink study where I kind of spotted different uh, levels of shadows on on the piece. I didn't know how much I wanted to kind of black out in pure shadow. These will get better. All right, here we go. Same thing. <clears throat> I am noticing fewer people uh, in the uh, window to win, and I think it's because we're giving them away as we kind of roll through here. So I'll give you guys 30 seconds to type something in the chat. Get it rolling. In the meantime, Charlie Parks has cheered. Um... Thank you very much, Charlie Parks. They'll do stim on your shoulder at PT. You're going to love it. It helps with the pain a ton. I don't really have, like, I, my shoulder's pretty good. It's just really when I, even that's not too bad. I couldn't do that before. It's reaching backwards. So, like, doing the uh, hug, hug the <laughs> you know, like when you're posing for a photo and you put your arm around someone's back, that's really hard for me to do. Dossifer 5000 has resub. Thank you very much. Where does the time go? Six months. Blazon Chaos. Jordan MVP 55. Patrick 10 has cheered. Uh, Toxic has resub. Nova Prime X has resubbed. Soul Brother 1. Um, thank you guys all for supporting the channel. Here we go. Let's roll it. It's Dark Wickus. Dark Wickus. following since September 10th of last year. Good to know. Congrats. Just fixing it up a little bit more. Joker's happy to be selected. Uh, Bot7 has... Danke für den Sonntag stream. Vielen Dank for your, for your cheers. <laughs> um, 
what else is going on here? Uh, have I ever had problems with my wrist? No, no, the wrist is good. The The shoulder, I injured it from probably falling on the ground a couple times. Not just from, like, walking. I was jumping a turnstile. And then lifting overhead bags from overhead to the ground. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. This one said, uh, hush, that's easy to do. Hush is two eyeballs. Anyone can draw a hush. Draw an egg, two eyeballs, trench coat. Unhappy, unhappy mouth. Uh, uh, uh. To me, fast drawings. So when you get really warmed up, you can kind of just draw straight without the um, the pencil lines. I don't really follow the pencil lines. If you notice, they're really there just to have something to build off of. It's almost like a safety net. Like, oh, if I had to, I could technically follow the pencil lines, but they're not really in the right place, so the, it's a psychological uh, illusion. do on this one is actually a spot a black shadow here. fumes. There's a reason why I don't draw with Sharpies. I just, um, I use them mostly to sign with. In fact, that's the only reason I use them. I don't, it's super rare that I draw with a Sharpie. A, because from an original standpoint, it's not the greatest, because uh, the way the ink reacts to ultraviolet and whiteout. <clears throat> but man, these fumes are just, they could be super strong and just Oh my god. They don't smell healthy. Unlike Ren, who smells fresh. Fresh and pure. Irish Spring. I still remember that commercial.
so if you notice I'm kind of blacking this out over here it's just like a kind of very simple shadow study where would the shadows go darker all the way at the bottom here <clears throat> kind of tried to that method where <clears throat> usually light falls from above onto us so you can almost go darker <clears throat> as you go down all right get rid of this sort of rim light that I had here. Don't need it. See if I can get this all into frame. <clears throat> He's like, is it time? For, uh, <clears throat> is it time for my close-up yet? And that's such an old reference. I don't know if anyone even understands what that means anymore. I don't even understand what it means. All right, here we go. Alright, uh, you guys need to type something in the chat. It's interesting. In the last five minutes. So, um, the number of eligible users just kind of dropped in half. So, I'll give you guys time to um, punch in there. Queen City Amusements has cheered. Charlie Parks has uh, cheered as well. Will, Will Bruce Art. 
and Patrick Ten. Thank you very much for all the uh, support. Um, yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's give it a second. It's interesting, Nightbot. Um, I know that there are more people, so the eligible user count is not changing. Uh, but when it does change, it'll jump up. Yeah, there, jumped up by over 100 right there. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Janella, for the cheers. Uh, Night Raven X has resub for six months as well. Thank you guys for the support. Here we go. Jiggin Man. <coughs> Jiggin Man has one. J I G G I N. Following since February 25th of this year. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. What are we going to do on this one? Um, hmm. Let's do. Easy. Almost as easy as hush. Feeling a little more warmed up. How about you guys? should draw the question next. <clears throat> Just all characters that have no particular features. I might do that. There's Grifter. I think these are getting a little faster. <clears throat> okay, we're going to roll this one right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Grifter. I feel like it needs two dashes right there. All right, done. All right. 
Just rolling along here. Let's roll. Pity83 has won. Pity83. Oh, just FYI, if you guys are overseas, or actually anywhere in the U.S., I'm gonna, I'll hit you up for some postage. Hopefully it's worth uh, the cost. Uh, I think overseas is like 40 bucks U.S. I, is it 10 or 20? I can't remember what, what it is. If that's an issue, just let me know. Reroll. All right, moving right along. Just burning through the paper here. Um, Charlie Parks is on a uh, cheering streak binge. Thanks again for the uh, support. Jawa Mode seven twenty seven has uh, sub for three months. Your work is always so clean. J O C C J Scribs has subbed as has Rappo Sawax uh, using Prime. Clayface would be easy too, says Will Broussard. Uh, yes, thank you very much for the cheers. You are correct, sir. Uh, Nova Prime X has cheered. Can you do Zero from Mega Man or Darkwing Duck? Ooh, Darkwing Duck would be tricky. All those cartoon characters are very, very deceptively easy to draw. Uh, <coughs> Patrick, ha Patrick Ten has cheered. Uh, you know what I'm going to say? Um, oh, CT Firebird has reset for 11 months. Thank you very much. Bobby Lux has cheered as well. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this Instagram post I put up. It's just a bunch of rejection letters, um, I had, which I had posted actually a couple years ago. Um, but I saw that there was this uh, trending hashtag on Twitter. Uh, was it rejection? Oh, what was it? Share your rejection or something like that? I can't remember. Uh, so that kind of struck a, a chord in me, like, oh, yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> I can uh, share this and kind of join the conversation. But uh, it was definitely, I think it, last time I checked, it had over 30,000 likes on, on Instagram. Yeah, but more interestingly, the number of comments, uh, I think it was over 1,500. It was the most amount of comments I think I have had ever. Um, I think I had... Almost that number when I posted up the first Goku. Um, anyway, uh, it engendered a lot of conversation. I was like going, what? Like, are people under the illusion that I've always drawn the way I've drawn professionally? Like, I, I that was the f way I started drawing when I first got in the business. And um, I would think that most people, if they follow my career, probably saw the Alpha Flight stuff, saw the Punisher War Journal, saw the X-Men. You saw sort of the um, progression of uh, consistency, ability, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> in my work. But the stuff I did when I submitted those letters was not good. It was not ready for prime time. It was not ready for publication. So the letters were appropriate for what I sent in, and I didn't. Uh, I was not discouraged. It didn't hurt my feelings. Maybe I uh, hurt my feelings a little bit. <clears throat> it's hard to remember. It was such a long time ago. But I, I don't know if that's the right phrase. It's, it's not like I was getting rejected from someone that I wanted to date it was like I wanted work and I wanted feedback. Like what could I fix to get the work? And if you say you need to work on X, Y, and Z, your hands are horrible, you don't know how to draw hands, the work looks inconsistent. Now I have like there's my checklist of what I want, need to do to get work. That focused me and, <clears throat> and motivated me more. So it was not discouraging. It was like, oh, I, there you go. If I just do these things, if I said to you, hey, to work in the comic book business, you need to take this book, put it on that shelf there, you need to take this box, wrap it up, ship it out to this person, and then lift these weights and put them in the, the closet over there, you would just do it, right? Like, you wouldn't go like, uh, you got, I got to do all this stuff, or maybe you would, I don't know, I don't know, maybe generationally speaking, you, you might have a different approach to this. But to me, it seemed like, oh, there is a, there, there is a quantified, concrete list of things I need to work on. I'll do it, and because um, I wanted to break in, it wasn't uh, a thing where I was looking for affirmation or every response to be like, "This is amazing." Where have you been all all, all our publishing lives? In my head, I thought it looked great, but I but I also knew that in my what I saw in my head wasn't necessarily what other people saw because if they did, they would have hired me already. 
The fact that they weren't hiring me meant there was a blind spot. There was a discrepancy between what I saw in my work and what other people saw in my work. So I needed to figure out why I saw my work differently than other people. And that's when I sort of learned the power of kind of turning artwork backwards to the light or looking at it in a mirror. And, and you can kind of see it objectively as you, if you were someone else. And if you looked at it as someone else, you would see the mistakes that you were blind to yourself. Because as a fan, you could always look at other people's professional work and go like, I like this guy's work. I don't like this guy's work. And why don't I like this person's artwork because of this, this, and this? And uh, I felt like I was better than these professional artists when I was like 12 years old, which is impossible. But obviously, what we think we're capable of doing and what we've produced is different from what other people see. So how do I unlock that that discrepancy in, in, in cognition? <clears throat> cognition, and that discrepancy in ability to cognitively see what's what other people see. And I found that by looking at backwards through the light, I was looking at it almost as if I was looking at someone else's work. And then that's when I started seeing all sorts of crazy stuff, like one eye higher than the other, something I still do today, uh, short proportions in, in calves, forearms, weird discrepancies in length of, of, of body parts. And that's something I still do today because I, I look back at my work on the 90s and I see stuff where I'm like, wow, look at this, this character's legs and th thighs are just gigantically long, enormously out of proportion, and it was just something that I thought looked great at the time, and it's kind of embarrassing to look at now. So <clears throat> so there's two things that can happen. One, by looking at something in the mirror, you see something immediately, and then also over periods of time, uh, you'll start seeing mistakes in your own work, things that look off. And usually it's anywhere from one to three months where you start seeing those those issues. Certainly if you're looking back at the work 20 years from now, that you can even more easily spot things that are... <clears throat> Weird and off. <clears throat> okay, uh, John Keck has hosted with five viewers. Thank you very much. Quick draw 13 <clears throat> has cheered. Um, using a cheer to get justice for Wildstorm CCGS. Can we see a Christy Blaze? Uh, I know if he will, he will die if he doesn't see it soon. Uh, Whimsical Toro has resubbed. Uh, Jamis the Man has resubbed. Uh, uh, RJ. Our, our Jean has resubbed for th 10 months. Diabolic45 has subbed as well. And Superheroic1 has resubbed using Prime. All right. Uh, we are caught up. Uh, Christy Blaze, I believe, is just a female face with a mole and a bun of hair. Something like that. Right? So here we go for Wildstorm CCGX. CCG uh, or whatever. I'm going to put the mole here. It could be on the other side. I'm just doing it from memory. Maybe I'll Google it so because that mole placement, all critical. And then we'll give her a, like sort of a Tomb Raider kind of harness. <clears throat> and I was going to give her goggles, but that didn't look good. All right, let's Google this real quick. Excuse me. Yeah, I still have a little. Oh, it's that. It's on the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. Is it? No. I think I got it in the right spot. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you know what? The hair is a little. Why is this, uh, that's weird. My chat window was not updating here. One second, guys. All right, here we go. Doing a little more of a relaxed uh, set of eyebrows for her.
Uh, what's a good angle to turn this? A little more this way, I think. Not my ideal angle to... A lot of my characters kind of smoked cigars back in the day. I think it was my fascination with smoking cigars. That was kind of... Right, from Emp to Wolverine. Hold on one second. Hello. I thought it was Postmates. Can someone translate this for me? Okay. I think my Chinese food has arrived. <clears throat> Yeah, that's right. Uh, that was um, from The Dark Knight, was it? Batman Begins? For some reason, I... Uh... <clears throat> Wait, Mason Bacon's here? Oh, hey, Mason. So anyway, if I can find the art that I submitted from, and I do have it somewhere, I will post it. But I know that if I do that, people go, okay, I get it now. I know why you weren't hired. <coughs> hey, Mason. You want me to grab your food? No, it, it, that was, uh, I'm just joking. It's, it was uh, spam. I think it's, they assume that I'm Chinese, and the whole thing is in Chinese. And I'm sure it's something like, hey, you know, the government's. You know, investigating you, you owe some money, call this number, or you're gonna get arrested. You know. Just imagine that one time it isn't spam. <laughs> imagine the one time it isn't spam. Well, I'll say, hey, I don't speak Chinese, what can I do? Was anyone able to translate that for me? You sleep all right? Yeah. When do you start school? Uh, the 30th. All right, so you still have a little time. I'm trying to get you back on the yeah. school schedule time. Yeah. That's right. I saw you. You're in stream now. You're here in person. Yeah, I got a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. <clears throat> All right, have a good one. All right, so good luck, Wildstorm, CCG, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. I like it when people have, like, pet passions. So Wildstorm, CCG, he's, like, really, we had a, a game, like Magic the Gathering, and I say like Magic the Gathering in that it was a game that were used cards to play, had, but it really had nothing to do with Magic the Gathering. It was nowhere near as popular, of course, <clears throat> or well-known. But I love the fact that this one guy is so into it, he has created his own cards and expanded the game. I think he's making up his own rules at this point. <clears throat> like he's, he's like the only guy that could possibly win at this game because no one has access to all the cards. I, I, literally, I would just, if I were him, I would just create a card. I win, and you play it, game over, right? Why he doesn't do it, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. It's uh, do, 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 um, 
C D H J D H six zero zero six following since July twenty first of this year and also a sub. So congrats. C D H J D H six O O six. For a brief second I was gonna write while well, I was gonna do this and then see if uh Sorry. I'm cruel. There's a cruel streak in me. I cannot deny for sure. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's definitely a cruel streak in me. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But it's great that people are so passionate about things. I, uh, I, I do respect that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I kid because I love that's that's it must be generational I kind of use that for everything now it's like oh I'm sorry I hurt your feelings um jerkly yes <laughs> thank you superhero silver heart <laughs> um yeah, uh, uh, Wildstorm CG, uh, he, he knows where we stand. Big supporter. Okay, um, I feel bad. Wildstorm CG is not saying anything. He's gone very silent. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Nothing's that important. Uh, <clears throat> is he even here? I thought I saw a resub message from him. There he is. There he is. I'm cry I'm crying myself to sleep. Ha ha ha. See, he gets it. Sad storm CCG. <laughs> uh, he's crying. He's sad. He's crying. You know, I enjoy drawing Chrissy Blaze. I'll do it again sometime. What? I'll just keep drawing Chrissy Blaze until he wins. How's that? I don't want to play favorites. <clears throat> um, thank you very much Artwing84 and Charlie Parks uh, dude your foot is on the gas pedal Russell Heath has cheered as well thank you very much Russell Jamus the man has cheered thank you Critica Live has subbed and Rob T. Snyder has resubbed as well Oglin has sub subbed using Prime Double Western has resubbed using Prime for two months. Nova Prime X has cheered. I do not think I've heard you talk about Alex Ross before. Uh, there's probably a lot of people I haven't talked about. Majestic Navajo <coughs> has subbed for nine months. You know what I could use? If I had it handy, it would be a cough drop. I don't see one. <coughs> that would clear some of this up for sure. <sighs> All right. I feel like I'm warmed up enough. Here we go. Well, to do this, I, I don't know if I need to be warmed up per se. But I do know that uh, the slower I go, the worse it is. And that was already that was already too slow for a side headshot. That was already too slow. In a way, I I've always said like it's kind of like a fancy signature, and it is. Uh, it's better for me to just if you think about your signature as you write it, it can be very awkward. So let's just um, speed it up a little bit. <clears throat> this one was slow, too slow. And these ears are very f forward facing, like kind of like a jerk, like a dog, like the dog's ears. If you guys know, like when a dog has, like it's alert, like the, the ears kind of face forward. So this is when Batman's like really listening to you, which is usually never. I would imagine Batman to really be kind of a, a jerk and real person. 
a real person, in real life. <laughs> All right, what are you going to tell Batman that he doesn't already know? This is a guy that has mastered everything, right? Uh, you know that the uh, atomic number for oxygen is eight. And he'd be like, yeah, I know already. I don't even know if that's right. I think so. But Batman would know, right? He'd be one of those people, uh, if you've ever talked to someone that, uh, you know, people that don't listen to anything, you know, they're, they're there, but it's almost like they're looking at their phone, obviously, but, but they're looking at you, but you can tell they're like looking at their phone. It's that vibe. Right. What are you going to tell Batman that he doesn't already know? He'd be like, yeah, I figured that one out. Or if he didn't know, he'd he'd say, "Yeah, I knew that." He'd be, he'd lie to you, you know. I think Batman on Jeopardy would be the, like the absolute worst. <clears throat> yeah. What is James Buchanan for one thousand? I don't even know if that's a James Buchanan for one thousand. Sorry, that's how you would phrase it. All right, that was a very quick Batman. Takes me just as long to write this. Almost. Alright, I'm going to do a little faster Batman. <clears throat> Orphan Boys for 500. Who is Dick Grayson? Who is Bruce Wayne? Um, here we go. The winner is Poofan12. Poofan12. Following since May 11th. And is a sub. Poofan. Alright. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to worry about where it is on camera. So, here we go. Uh, anyone want to time this? Let's time it. Let's time it. Let's see. If we can time this. Although that, that I feel like that adds extra pressure, and and I'm going to lose a little time in going from hitting the to the timer to actually drawing. But here we go. Here we go. We'll do it simultaneously here. I see the clock in the corner of my eye. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to have to turn it off because I feel like it's distracting me. I'm looking at my peripheral vision. Instead of drawing where I should be, and it's very annoying. So that's 25 seconds. I don't want to hit one, 30, 33 seconds, 35. Forty-three. I'm just killing time. Forty-eight. Fifty-one. His forehead's a little short. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Fifty-eight. I'll stop. Fifty-nine. All right, here we go. <coughs> the winner is Clutter. Clutter 0117, following since July 8th. All right. That was actually less than, that was like a 30 second Batman. I kind of stopped. So, but uh, like I said, it was kind of annoying to have that in the back. So, here we go. Oh, we start with the eye. Oh, hey, Roch. Hold on one second.
Yeah, I'm here. We just have some workers in the house. They they had some questions about some lights. Um, so I just want to fix this up a little bit more. That took me out of my groove a little bit. All right. And I had started one, which uh, I'm not going to do a Batman anymore, Just, gonna, but I will do it uh, in a second here. Let me see if I can just uh, finish this one and make it something else for now. And then I'm going to go back to my sort of speed Batman and see what, it, what that looks like. Will I be drawing at Alamo Comic Con? So what I usually do at shows now, um, there's like a VIP meet and greet for those people that, that uh, just want to uh, <clears throat> organize their day, be guaranteed of a spot in line, all that kind of stuff. You get a selfie, you get signatures. Uh, I think you can get a CGC if you want, if you're into that. But <clears throat> if you're on a budget and don't want to do that, there are there will always be like a open to the public signing that I do, uh, open to the public. So, so uh, that just means it will be later in the day. Uh, they'll probably be waiting involved. Um, the conventions usually kind of, um, what do they do? They, uh, I don't know if they limit it because, man, we'll blow through a lot. It's like one signature per, no, no, no photos, whatever, no selfie. Uh, it goes quick, goes quickly. So it's, just comes down to like what your, your con, what you expect of your con experience, and then uh, somewhere in the middle of the day, I do a panel, and in that panel, I do something very similar to this stream where I kind of talk about whatever I field questions, um, and I draw like this, so some, uh, hopefully something like this, and uh, on a good day, and. Uh, uh, I give them away. I give the sketches away. So it's very similar, except it's done in person. And uh, so that's where I kind of draw. There's really no time to um, draw commissions, you know, at the actual shows. <coughs> Whew, stinks so bad. <coughs> All right, here we go. And the winner of this one, Fish and Boris, uh, following since April 29th, and it's a sub, Fish and Boris. All right. Congrats to Fish and Boris. Uh, is there a VIP for New York Comic Con? No, there's not. The VIP stuff is only at the elective shows. Like the shows I go to for business, like uh, San Diego, New York Comic Con, WonderCon. It's just uh, they're one hour signings, usually one or two for the weekend. Sure. At the DC booth. So I, I know that there's... Sorry, chomping. I'll, I'll spit this out. Tastes too good, though. Watermelon flavor. Got it, got it. Mm, so good. Um, uh, he muted so he can't talk crap about the chat. What are you talking about? Anyway, I uh, what was I saying? 
that was some good flavored uh, chewing gum, but it kind of got the, <clears throat> hopefully the coughing out of the system. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so the, <clears throat> the major shows, I think they've all instituted some sort of electronic lottery to get signatures. So there's three variables at play. One is uh, certainty, certainty, convenience, four variables, certainty, convenience, um, uh, experience. What was the fourth one? I had four in my head at, at some moment, but uh, certainty, right? Whether it's a lottery or you're guaranteed, exp um, uh, expedience, right? Knowing what I guess that, no, that ties into certainty. N knowing what time of day, whether you're going to get a signature or not. Boom. Uh, experience, uh, you know, number of signatures, selfies, all that kind of stuff. Um, access to a panel. Um, and I feel those, those are the variables, and, and based on what's important to you determines whether you wait in line or get some sort of package, whatever. I mean, I, I, I do try to um, kind of offer stuff on the whole spectrum. I get it. Not everyone can uh, afford a VIP experience, and I don't mean to shut people out. Okay. <clears throat> um, oh, Superhero Swim Art. Still waiting for the animal sketches to start. <clears throat> Those might take a long time. Um. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what the the answer is. Also, there's also people that want stuff CGC'd, and to me that's a ver I mean that's a that's an um, that's a commercial transaction. People are not always though. I, I get the desire of kind of slabbing and owning it in a per pristine state and having it signed. Uh, I have books like that myself. But a lot of people are looking to get a signed slabbed and then they resell it. So. There are all these things that happen at a show. It's not just, you know, it's not just a, a gathering of fans. That's a big part of it. But there's a lot of other things that happen. And uh, the shows are getting a little more complicated. And you're seeing different creators do different things. And so I'm trying to be mindful of that and kind of be balanced in my approach. <clears throat> so not to say that I'm 100% correct in my approach. But I do think about it. I have given it some thought. And I'm always open to more feedback from people. Um, you know, um, but the answer is not signing for 12 hours a day. So I, uh, uh, although that would solve a lot of things, I'm sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Stimpy asks, does any, does everyone resell CGC books? I don't think so. I think s most do, uh, or invest in it, invest in it with the intent of selling it later. Um, but there's definitely books that I, 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 I get books CGC'd myself, you know, I, I'm building up a collection of really nice, uh, you know, um, high quality uh, first issues, hopefully. Um, but there are certain creators, like Stan Lee, I, I you know, kind of kick myself for not ever getting something signed and CGC'd uh, of Stan's so I can just kind of, f you know, display it on the wall. I do have something, though, I bought Afterwards, I have a Hulk number one. I think it's 2.0. It's like really not in great shape, but he signed it and it's verified that he signed it. So that's, I'm just saying I could have done it myself. I could, <laughs> over all the years I've known Stan and and he has signed stuff for me just for free because, you know, I was a fan. I, I never, I don't think anything, I don't, I don't think I ever gave him a comic book to sign though. It was usually like, oh, we took a Polaroid picture. Can you sign and Stan, you know, together? <clears throat> or I've asked. On, on behalf of friends, but I don't think I've ever asked him to sign a comic book for me. Uh, and that's something that um, I would never think of bugging him about now. And so it's, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't really bug anyone for signatures. I think there's only a handful of people that have asked. So I asked uh, Steven Spielberg once to sign something, and he was very kind. Um, after a meeting, he signed something for me. And... Um, 
I've got a signature from Howard Stern that's very meaningful to me, but I didn't I didn't ask for a signature. He just wrote me a note and sent it to me, so that was really cool. I got, kept it, framed it. And uh, I, something from J.J. Abrams. So those are like the three signatures I own. It's four if you count Stan Lee. Yeah, those are the four. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, you know, I do have a McFarlane signed comic book. I think I, you know, we're all like at a show together, and like, oh, we should get this stuff CGC, like... Like, duh, look at all these people. Like, we, we're the ones signing. We could just do this. I saw I had him, I think, <coughs> sign a copy of plat the Platinum Edition of Spider-Man number one. I got a CGC somewhere. So, that's a goof. But, you know, I'll pass it on to my kids and they'll go, what the hell is this? You know? <laughs> um, all right. Oh, you know what? Whose autograph you ever want? I, I t so it's more than four. I've got two more. I've got stuff signed by William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy. I've got this photograph. I went to a convention, Fan Expo in Toronto, just to meet them. Um, you know, so. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what am I going to do now? Um, oh, if I exceed, uh, so I've spent the first hour doing quickie sketches. So um, now I'm going to do kind of the silent. Oh, shit, sketch. So, for those of you that are here just for free sketches, you could probably leave the, the stream at this point if you want. I'm just being honest. All right, so I've got uh, one, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, sex? I don't know what the Spanish... Seven, eight. I did eight. I did eight in about an hour, a little over an hour. A lot of talking though. Um. <coughs> Tell the group what a Polaroid is. Superhero, superhero, so our dad. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. Uh, that's Clayton's dad. Uh, a Polaroid is a photograph that instantly develops while you shake it. Shake it shake it like a Polaroid. That was a song once. Um, so it's like a digital photograph that takes a little longer to develop, but eject, ejects out of a device. So if this camera, a piece of paper come out, it would be blank, and then you shake it. Um, yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it's outcast. Hey, Ink One. Thank you, Punker13. That outcast, that was the summer of 2004, I think. Shake it like a Polaroid. That's the only uh, best explanation ever. Thank you. Thank you. Um, ejects out of your device? Yeah, your phone. That's exactly what it is. All right. Patrick Chen has cheered as well. SMKarty313 has cheered. These are great. Thank you very much for doing these for us. You're welcome. My pleasure. Congrats. Celebration. Uh, happy anniversary to all you guys. One year in. Um... Cold Stone Snake 316 has to leave. Happy one year. I have to leave for my six-year anniversary. I had some good questions for today. We'll have to wait. There's always next week and next week. Well, actually, next week I'll be, I think, in um, Palm Springs. So here we go. <coughs> Draw a Rolex. <laughs> All right. Hey, when are they going to fix this? I know on the list of things, I, I got an email from Twitch. They're going to fix these super bright um, colors for handles, like on it. White field. I can't read what that person. The really bright, intense yellows and greens are unintelligible, illegible. How can I draw hands? Yes, let's spend a little time. <clears throat> let's draw a hand. Draw a cone. Make the cone slightly longer, wider on the bottom. Think of a bracelet, Wonder Woman bracelet. Okay. This is this right here. I have drawn this. Look, it looks just like it, doesn't it? Okay. 
Now, uh, draw a cone like this. All right? If you had a puppy. All right? The saddest looking puppy ever. A dachshund. All right? There you go. I just came back. I have no context of what's happening. Rue dog. That's right. There is no. Uh, there's. No, trust me. You're not missing out on anything. All right. Okay. Uh, Kirihiko. Always with the dirty thoughts. Um, okay. So that's a cone. Uh, so out of this cone, you have uh, six missiles. You have one missile. Okay. Going that way, and then you have four missiles going straight up and down. Okay. It's a cone full of missiles. This missile is quite not as, as far along. Okay. Put the wrist bump in there. Just put a little, couple bumps in the road for the fingers. Make the this missile a little bit bigger than the, the next missile. Make sure that they all start kind of roughly in the same spot. Put your knuckle bumps here, some wrinkled lines in the middle, some squares at the end for the uh, fingernails, and a little bit line right there. Oop. And, and a cool watch that says, done. Okay. This one's a little, I mean, it's a little long, honestly, like this, game. right? The, uh, this person has very, very long finger. Or you can put your hand here, okay, like so. All right, let's just do it like that. Can we see everything? Clutter, uh, Clutter 0017 has sub. Thank you very much, Clutter 0017. I think uh, that's that's the person that won the sketch, right? Desert Rose has resub for ten months. Thank you very much. Hookum Town has sub for four months. Okay, so there's the hand. So we're gonna draw this hand. Uh, there's a bump there for the wrist, and some some wrinkly stuff here, and already this thumb is way too big, so I'm gonna just adjust it. There's some life drawing here, but it's okay to that <clears throat> if that um, if that thumb was too wide because I'm gonna put a shadow there anyway, and. There's uh, another finger there, and, okay. I don't know, more or less. So that's like a life drawing hand. Right. The hand is off the market. Fresh, fresh, freshy cool. Freshy cool. That's that's funny. I like it. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. So that's life drawing hand. If I were drawing that hand as a comic book hand, how would I draw that hand? <clears throat> I would probably, you know, it'd probably be very similar. But I, I probably would. I think the only that's like the only difference. That's a comic book hand. <clears throat> now I want this. Now you want it. Now you want it. Before you're like, eh, why is he wasting his time drawing hands? And then. A little bit of a Deadpool. I mean, Deadpool and Wolverine are kind of the same way, right? I mean, sort of regrowing. <clears throat> there we go. Well, he's regenerating. Right? Uh, <coughs> okay. Oh, should I give this away? All right, I'll give it away. All right, here we go. I'm going to roll it. Hold on a second. Here we go. Nightbot is winning. <laughs> oh my god. You guys all got beat by AI. This is the future you face. Oh, you didn't get into art college. Nightbot got into art college. Oh, you're not drawing Nightwing, the comic book. Guess who? It's Nightbot. You're not marrying the girl of your dreams. Nightbot's got that covered. Dude, this is this is <laughs> this is judgment day. Synchronicity has arrived. Alright, you guys can buy this sketch from Nightbot. High bidder. Please. Here we go. I'm gonna roll again. Reflect. Reflect has a nice photograph of himself in front of the building. Reflect has been following since June tenth of this year. Congrats, Reflect. <clears throat> Nightbot, the ultimate rejection letter. Nightbot, please resubmit when you can draw hands. <laughs> oh, hands done. That sound effect was AI. <laughs> that's when computers think internally. That's the sound of micro microns, electrons flowing through circuit boards. All right, Beliasa has cheered. Arcade Legend has cheered uh, with a very long message. How, long, how have you been? Saw your take uh, on Cloud from Final Fantasy and thought it'd be cool to do Link from The Legend of Zelda sometime. Can't wait to see more art from you in the future. A nice severed arm. La, 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 la. <clears throat> 
Yeah, Link would definitely be a possibility. Arcade Legend. Oh, cheered before as well. Um, oh, the same message. You don't have to do it twice. I will eventually read it. Save your bits. Save your bits because we're going to go raid someone afterwards after the stream and then we'll dump some coin on them. Make their day, hopefully. Uh, I've art won. I just missed something, didn't I? Yes, you have to pretty much pay attention. Um, okay, <clears throat> what are we going to draw? Um, I have like an hour. Dump some coin. Is that not a phrase people say anymore? Uh, I, I could do Dream from Sandman. Yes. I could draw a Nightbot. What's that? Mo what does that mofo look like? <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on a second. Okay. Um This is trickier than it seems. S sketches or is it ES? How can I not spell sketches? Oh my god, I'm gonna screw this up. <laughs> Did I spell that correctly? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> ES. Did I screw that up? How can I screw that up? I just don't work. Uh, it's actually. Uh, it's better this way. Trust me. All right. <clears throat> That's a badass nightbot right there. Beep, beep. All right, here we go. Who's going to win this bad boy? Uh, I should probably get into Nightbot. I'm out. Don't do anything. Nightbot has not recorded any 
All right, Nightbot. Let's log into Nightbot again. <clears throat> Okay, there are five eligible users. Fifteen. Fifteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Just kidding. Nightbot. Who is Nightbot going to choose? Oh, the winner is Streamlabs. Congrats to Streamlabs. Streamlabs, congrats. Oh, the chances of Nightbot winning again. Here we go, Nightbot. And the Dister won, following since May 13th, and as a subscriber. The Dister won. Grammar kind of bad. <clears throat> Thanks. Appreciate it. Nightbot is weeping. That should have been mine. Pity83, congrats with the one year of streaming. You're the man. Thanks for all the streaming amazing art and humor. Such a joy on 20 of the year. Thank you. Mr. Deeg has subscribed. Thank you, Pity. <coughs> El Gritti has resub for six months. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Queen City Amusements has cheered as well. Uh, Janice... The man has cheered. I followed your channel for a while, but just joined today. Would love to see you do a awesome Colossus sketch or dream from Sandman is good as well. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a dream. Nightbot should have a Goku sticker. You guys are taking it too far. Okay. You know what I love about Dream? That guy's pretty buff. He's in pretty pretty good shape. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's a 24-hour fitness that he's got going on, but, you know, the dude knows how to stay pretty lean. He's rocking that dope amulet. <clears throat> Uh. <laughs> Just had a very funny, dirty thought, but should not. Oh, did I say that out loud? Sorry. I didn't. <clears throat> it was gonna be like, uh, <laughs> here's your, here's your hand right here. Take that, and it was gonna be a certain kind of hand gesture, but. But trust me, I am not, I am not, uh, it's funny, people are like, oh, take that, like, it must have showed them. I'm like, no, absolutely not. <clears throat> I, the criticisms <clears throat> were spot on. Absolutely spot on, correct. He looks like Groot. I don't know what's going on. Um... Revenge Sinister has resubbed or subbed. Thank you very much. be kind of cool. Maybe something like that. Alright, something like that. Yeah, 
has that kind of rock star look. <clears throat> Excuse me. The rare left to right looking I hope that's the right side. Shoulder, draw underneath. <coughs> I'm make sure it all works. And then the. <coughs> Excuse me, man. I draw the hand first. I don't know. I don't like that. Let's see what happens if I... I kind of like it down. Because then I can utilize the space down here. Or not. Too far down. Right here. The first idea was the best. It's probably this one that's oddly looking. What is does his robe, does he wear pants? I mean, look. You just never, yeah, I guess, I guess those are pants. Start with this. We'll make it work. <clears throat> All right, let's start with this.
That's the upshot. Up. <laughs> Up shop, up, 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 up shot. We want people to look haunted. You have them purse their lips just a little bit like that. <laughs> That's my uh, Sandman look right there. The trick to an upshot is to just drop the ears down. All right. Well, that's one of the tricks. Drop the ears down lower on the head. All right. Sketch will have a slightly sketchier kind of quality. Kind of apropos of the character. I think the ear should probably be down here. This is a point three marker, so I'm gonna have I'm drawing a lot <clears throat> uh, multiple times, sometimes on the same line to kind of get it to be darker and thicker. But it's thin enough that it still retains some of the sketchiness I'm trying to uh, kind of evoke in this drawing. Sometimes I I put a line down and uh, it actually doesn't stick and nothing comes out, which is fine. So it's very kind of forgiving and uh, <clears throat> excuse me gosh so I'm gonna draw his hair mostly white like light it's like kind of underlit and it's gonna basically be offset by the black that's gonna be coming off of uh, death's hair over here I'm thinking so far. Create My Comics has resub. DJ Mittens, cheers to the OG subs. It's our one year. Thank you for the cheers, DJ Mittens. Martin P. 
P123 has subbed as well. Super Dumb Boy. And uh, DJ Mittens has resubbed for 12 months. Thanks. That's commitment there for you. Thank you very much, DJ Mittens. Maple1979 has resubbed for four months. Four months already. The time sure flies when you're having fun. And uh, Revenge Sinister has resubbed for four months. Uh, J4 Jewels has cheered as well as has Kirihiko. Character without eyes, please. <laughs> this is just for Kira right here. No eyes. I'm not, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the eyes. I'm thinking nothing. He's spooky. Charlie Parks has cheered. M. Croft 07 has raided with a party of 75. Welcome in, guys. M. Croft 07. That's cool. It's been a while since we've been raided. Very kind of you guys. Thank you for dropping in. Welcome in. I feel like I should do some free, some more free sketches for everybody. Since we have a party now, yeah. Let me get let me get that uh, sit loaded up in my head here. <clears throat> now you know kung fu. Um, welcome in, guys. If you are new to the stream, uh, this is the crispy egg roll roast stream. It's a stream we started about a year ago, just to um, really. Celebrate and applaud the achievements of Crispy Egg Roll. Um, yeah, it's usually a pretty short stream. So then I kind of fill up the time by drawing pictures. And uh... <laughs> <coughs> all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Pure Allen has cheered. Thank you very much for the bits, man. Um, what am I drawing here? It's a character called uh, Dream, Morpheus, from a book called Sandman. Uh, hey, Poop Kid. I haven't seen Poop Kid in a while. I didn't see you earlier in chat. Yeah, what, uh, so the people that have come in for the raid, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Welcome in. I will draw to your bidding. What should I draw? This is what I do. I draw and I give away. It's a business model that I would not really advocate. M. Croft 07. Oh, I get it. You're a Laura Croft. Is there literally a stream that just is into Laura Croft? Is that what's going on? Do you uh, stream the game? Is that, is that what's going on? I think uh, I could do a very quick Laura Croft, but I'm like on. What really distinguishes Laura Croft? I don't know. <clears throat> I have drawn Laura Croft once before. Like I said, this guy's. 
for a person that really has no need to stay in shape, the dream is pretty cut. Let me uh, just finish these abs. He is ripped. Pepperoni. Uh, okay. Croft. How can I do a very quick Laura Croft in two minutes? Because that would be the goal. Uh, mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me put this aside for a second. Laura Croft. Lara Croft, sorry. Lara Croft. I'm going to do old school Lara Croft. Uh, I'm going to do the 8 bit version of Lara Croft. Don't you have glasses? Sunglasses? I haven't. So I like to draw, <coughs> and then um, I like to race. That's the secret to uh, drawing. You draw and you race. Uh, if you just time it correctly, you can get to where you need to be. This marker, not so great. I like that there's a whole channel devoted to our craft. Oversized eyes. The hair kind of pops down. Sort of the triangular shaped head. Um, I know she had sunglasses at one point, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to leave it out for now.
always draw the forearm. Hopefully this works. Ooh. And then we take a brush. Where's that? Hmm. I thought I had a brush over here. Unlock one of these new ones. <clears throat> Sort of the finishing touches on this piece here. This 
It's one of my favorite uh, PS2 games back in the day. I just remember like being underwater <clears throat> with the character and just <clears throat> thinking that was just such a cool sort of bit of gameplay. All right. <clears throat> Uncovering uh, underwater mazes, secret passages, whatnot. It's pretty cool. And the little sounds, I still kind of run in. You like that little unlocks when you find something, the, the alert sounds. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's it. Super fast. Old school, 9-bit, whatever, 8-bit. 9-bit. <laughs> 9-bit Laura Croft. You know what I'm talking about. Let's just clean this up a little bit of white out. And oh, I gotta let this dry here, but I'm gonna just go ahead and speed it along. So for those of you who are new to chat, I draw a giveaway. And that's what we're going to do here. Okay. Very fast, Lara Croft. Look at this awesome handwriting. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Here we go, here we go. All right, what is Nightbot? Our supreme ruler. Have to say about this. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Wait, let me straighten that out. And rolling it. Uh, it's a new, it's <laughs> someone new because they're not following. So it's Hotch Dog OK OK. Hopefully Hotch Dog OK OK will know what to do. H O C T Dog OK OK. So Hotch Dog OK OK, I will send you a um, Twitch direct message or you can join our, our Discord channel. You could even hit the follow button. Uh, or you can hit join our Discord and send send me a message. But uh, look for a message this week. Please do not forget. Look in your Twitch DMs or whatever those Twitch whispers are. Okay? All right. I'm here. What do I do? All right. Well, get in your car. Drive on over. Meet me on the corner of Lexington and 3rd. And, uh, no. Sorry, message from uh, my wife. She's going, are you giving away sketches again? I said, uh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> can I draw War for the Planet of the Apes character? I can draw all the apes from Planet of the... All right, let's get back to what I was doing here before. So welcome in. So we draw all different kinds of characters. I actually have drawn Lower Croft before. If someone here in stream has access to that sketch, can drop it in as a link. That would be very handy and appreciated. So uh, we're just kind of doing upshots. This one's a slight upshot. 
And as you can see, I'm kind of drawing a little more sketchy than I normally do. This is for Kirihiko. I'm not drawing any eyeballs. Uh, <clears throat> DJ Mittens, uh, today's a, I think it's a everyone in chat giveaway. I think I've done nine, nine sketches now with that Laura Croft. That was the ninth one. Uh, those of you new to the stream, so this one would be a silent, what we call a silent auction. Uh, people sort of bid to. Actually, I don't even know how it works. I think they bid. I don't know. The mods give some sort of uh, place, an address that you can place your bid. It is secretly, silently registered. The uh, the winner is not announced. Um, but the bid amount is. And then I contact the person. It's all done on the the hush. The, the goal is not to elicit the top bid uh, by creating an auction environment, but uh, to let people kind of bid as high as they comfortably feel for a piece if they are so moved. If not, no biggie. So we've done superheroes. We've done manga characters, anime, video game characters, you name it, we've done it at this point. In a year, I've done a lot of different characters. One second, I just thought of something. Have I drawn Thanos? I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What do we got going on? We have uh, Jamus, the man, has cheered. Is it, if there is God, and there is, he wants me to have this dream sketch. He told me in a dream. Cool. SM Carti 313, Girl Scouts of America for Life. Yeah, yeah, we, ha we have a Girl Scout troop. I'm a member, so. I think uh, my wife is organizing their first overnight uh, camping trip, so they're excited for that. Unfortunately, I'm going to miss it because it's the same weekend as New York Comic Con. All right, I got, I got, unfortunately, I have to draw some eyeballs here. It's so weird. It just doesn't work until I see the eyes. It makes all the difference in the world. One second here. One second. All right, two blues have subscribed. Bat7 has cheered as well. Charlie Parks has cheered. Uh, fave comic of all time, The Sandman. Fantastic. Good to hear. Uh, we are going to do some major dropping in of some black shapes here with ink. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do this right. For sure, we're going to go in here. seeing a sort of a core black shape that goes through this um, this area here Okay, and then we're going to continue it down here, but then as it comes down here, I'm going to have it start coming into the shadows, because the goal is to get to all black down here. So it's going to be black down here for sure, and then coming up into here. So I have to have a transition. so that this arm kind of pops out of black space right here. Okay. So this is what I'm building off of. So I'm going to continue And then we can kind of get artsy down here.
Janella has cheered. Um, have to leave now. Dad duties. See you guys next week. Take it easy, Janella. Thanks for dropping in. I know it's a very different time zone over in the Philippines right now. <clears throat> it's actually his hand here. But uh, I'm going to have the, the robes kind of come out to meet it, so you're not quite sure what's going on. Um, let me just put this up here. I prefer to use uh, something in between a smooth and vellum. This is a little on the rougher side. I don't like uh, plate. When I was younger, plate was it, but uh, it's too slick. I like something that has a little tooth, but also a little bit of a sheen to it. somewhere. Darth Laurie. <clears throat> Darth Laurie has cheer. Got to run now. Thanks for always for a great session. Hope your sh shoulder is doing well. Yeah, it is. Thank you very much for uh, asking. Take care. I'm almost done myself. And I say that full acknowledgement that sometimes I can be off. Try something like that. Okay. Okay, this is where <clears throat> I get out the tissues. Almost done in 15 minutes. Uh, that's not too bad. You might be right. You might be right, sir. <clears throat> All right. 
the object now is to create a bit of a glow, a haze around. I'm going to pick up the hair that's in the white there with white outside. I don't mind going into it a bit here. It's really about getting the gradations just right. And then on this side, same thing. But this time, the light's coming off of his glowing hand. And we're going to go ahead and make this kind of dark. careful. There we go. Um, I already cleaned my brush so I don't want to mess it up again. So a little bit of finger painting up here, a little bit down here. Let that dry. Without the tape, the tape is so strong it actually picks up on the paper. This the batch I got off this pad is a little toothier than normal. <clears throat> Cynthia, yep. hey Cynthia, <coughs> it's good seeing you in Boston. Just want to thank you again for an awesome panel at Fan Expo Boston. <coughs> Excuse me. It was great to finally meet you in person. It was really nice to meet you as well. Thank you very much. Um, glad you enjoyed the panel. Janice the Man, it's always been great to watch you work. I'm glad I joined today, and I support you and everything you do. Be well, my friend. Take care. Take care, Jamis. Jam, Jam, Jamus the Man. I appreciate the support. Um, also, <clears throat> what we do after the stream, I'll announce what this goes for, and then uh, we're going to go raid uh, someone else. Uh, I ask uh, one of the mods to give me the raid destination. I'll type it in, and then I'll we'll jump in and, and kind of support this other person's stream as we try to pick um, another creative uh, that's out there. As you know, Twitch is primarily a site for gamers, so I think the creatives need all the love and support they can get. up some of the, the detail work here.
can I draw a triceratops? Uh, yeah. I can do that real quick. Hold on one second. Right here is just uh, what I love about kind of drawing characters like this is that you can kind of be much more expressive in the line work and kind of elements that you're you're producing. It's more about capturing a feeling than um, a cleanness to the line or power, or all that kind of stuff. Right. So in fact, I'll probably go over the lines a little bit here to make it just a little fuzzier. some of these lines here to provide a little more contrast. Okay, but I'll leave some of the lines in because I kind of like how they look. And I'll probably add a little bit more of the graphite. Now we go in with the white out. The bids close uh, when I'm done, so which will be after this white out.
Okay. Now I need... Uh, Oops, that was not good. It's a big blob. I like all of it, I think, except for this uh, white space here. I don't, I'm not crazy about that. So let's just obliterate some of this or knock it back a little bit. lines I felt like they were a little too thick One last one, these shoulder pads. Uh, no, that's about right. <clears throat> I'm not so sure. <clears throat> I kind of want to block out more of those white lines. I don't know why they would necessarily connect like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of knock them back even more a little bit. Uh, 
and then in their wake, gotta clean this off here. Put some more. I do want to do something though with a circular element. If I had a CD disc, which I don't, I have this though. This is not too bad. It's not too, it's roughly the same size, I think. Some sort of nimbus effect. I think I'm done. I am done. <clears throat> I'm going to sign it. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'll post it into Discord uh, and then later into social. So thank you guys for uh, tuning in. <coughs> Staying for this whole stream. There's a lot of giveaways, but they were kind of done earlier. Here, this I'm going to correct it for the uh, angle of the display here. There you go. Anyway, uh, I want to thank our amazing mods, uh, Kirihiko and Crispy Egg Roll. I like to give them uh, some trouble <laughs> uh, about them, about their picadillos. Picadillos? Is that how you say it? I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I, like to, I like to razz them every now and then. And... Uh, um, but really, they do so much for the stream. Uh, during the stream, before, after, on Discord, a lot of the, the uh, uh, really, none of this is, is really possible without their help. So it's amazing to have them. So please thank them for their help and assistance. I want to thank all you guys for tuning in. Um, it's one of the highlights of my week, and it's great to see everyone here. All right, uh, Bat7 has cheered. Thanks again for the stream. Happy anniversary. Dan of Earth has subscribed. Betus has cheered. Thank you very much. Oh, I got to check out what, uh, so the high bid on this here. Let's see what we got here. Um, all right. Looks like uh, 43, 59, and 99. I'm just going to round it down to 43, 59. All right, so thank you very much. Very generous uh, bid. Um, Congrats to the winner. Like I said, I'll post this onto um, Discord in a little bit. And here is the raid. I'll see you guys there. I'll be there as well. <laughs>